Hi everyone, I'm Rahim Munir, and today I am with Professor Ted Sargent. Uh, he's a Vice Dean of Research at University of Toronto, and also holds a Canadian Research Chair position in nanotechnology. Thanks, Rahim. So, Professor, could you help us to identify the main points that uh, how important the academic writing is? Well, it's crucial at every stage. In fact, I would say the difference between a good paper and a great paper is often in the writing, more so than it is in the science. Of course, it's always hard to uncouple those two things because great writing is about really clear thinking, about telling a story in a really clear order, and doing great science is also about having a really clear idea of what you're doing and then communicating really well about it. So you could say that great science and great writing are almost the same thing. And how can we improve our writing skills? I think it's really important to work actively on your writing skills. One is to write a lot and to get a lot of feedback. Get feedback in different ways. So for example, with my students some of the time I just do a track changes edit to their document. Sometimes that's not enough. I sit with them and I do the edit live and I speak you know, out loud in real time about why I'm making a certain change. I motivate the change. I also explain to them whether I see it as kind of an optional style preference or whether they've really broken a rule, they have to learn the rule and fix it. Okay. And if, if we submit a CV to you, what's the first thing you look at? And like, what, what, for what kind of do's and don'ts would you uh, ask us to do if you see a CV? Yeah, well, that's a great question, Rahim. I would say the first one, and remember this for yourself, is do not misspell your own name. <laughs> big mistake. <laughs> People will notice that. Big font at the top. I think that would be a big, big turn off. <laughs> big turn off. Um, so, yeah, make it clean, make it perfect. Think about whether you're writing an academic CV, okay. which is like limitlessly long, right? It's got all your papers. papers yeah. And uh, on the other hand, whether you're, uh, it's a corporate CV, and there's typical one or two. Uh, page formats that people use certainly doesn't end up including all your papers. Even on the academic CV, I think it's useful, and I see more and more people doing this, to break it down into first your own first author papers, or maybe your three most important papers that you're most proud of, and then you know everything else, and the everything else can maybe go at the end, and you should really highlight the three papers or the first author papers in which you're most proud of. From. Okay. A great way to improve your academic writing is to join the KAUST student-organized event at MRS Boston 2016 on the topic. 